So I know I just did an entire series on the best apps and tools for social media, but I just couldn't help myself because I found another amazing and free app. What is up guys, this is Max Square, and in this video we're taking a look at yet another app that will help you produce amazing social media posts. Now this is specifically focusing on story posts, so any app that supports stories like Instagram, and basically it just manages the entire layout of the post, and it's got some really awesome templates, and it's free, so let's jump right into it. So this app is called Unfold, and as soon as you open it up, you'll see that you get a grid of all of your recent posts, and then you can just tap the plus button at the top to create a new story. So let's say I wanted to call this Max Squares Post or something, I don't really know. Then you can just hit Create, takes you into the edit mode, and then you can just add a post. Now you'll see that I have a couple of different layout options. So I can just use the full screen image, which is pretty generic. That's basically what Instagram does by itself. But what's cool is that you can also add text if you wanted. And if I go back to that menu, you could also have multiple photos. You could just have text. You can even add a landscape photo and then a portrait photo. So there's tons of different options here. Now this is all inside of the CS1 template group. So that comes free with the app and the app is free to download. But if you wanna add a couple more templates, you can buy the CS2 pack. Now that's only 99 cents, but it also includes a dark mode. So if I just preview this here, you can see kind of what it looks like. There's just a couple more templates. You can do kind of a picture in picture view. You get kind of these picture cropping into another portrait photo kind of thing. You do kind of a film strip look and there's just a couple dark modes available. And all of that is only 99 cents and that's the only in-app purchase available. So basically the app is free, but if you just wanna add a couple of more styles, you can purchase that as well. So I'm gonna go back to this post that I've made here and, and I can just tap the add button to add a photo. So I'm gonna grab this picture of Magic Kingdom. I was just in Disney, which was awesome by the way. And then I can just tap into the title and add some text. So I could just say Magic Kingdom, you know, it was awesome, whatever you wanna add here. But then if I tap the edit text button, I can actually change the fonts, I can change the alignment, the size, spacing. There's really tons of options, which is really nice. Now I'm pretty much set on the style that they give you by default, but what's cool is that they do have a variety of fonts from kind of sans serif to script fonts, which can really match your brand. Now for Max Square stuff, I've been using a lot of scripts in the thumbnails, so that could definitely help me stay on brand if I was doing this for a Max Square post. But maybe I wanted to go for more of a sans serif, all caps, I could use Bebus, you know, and you can change it as needed. So that's really cool. And then once you're done with that picture, you can either save that, or if you wanna just keep adding posts, you can just hit that plus icon and add another post. Now when they bring in the photos, it's not always gonna be exactly where you want it, so you can just double tap into each of the squares and you can zoom out as needed. So maybe if this was a portrait photo, you could get the full thing in there if you wanted to just zoom out, or you can also move it up and just get that part of the photo that you want. Now they don't give you a lot of control over repositioning the squares or anything like that just because there's so many layouts. So once you pick the one that you want, you're kind of stuck with that. But again, there's so many different ones. So you'll probably find what you're looking for. Now if you tap the bottom right icon here, you can actually rearrange stories or delete them entirely. So if you just tap that arrow, you could reposition that post to be the first one. You could delete it if you wanted it, or you can change it to dark mode if you have that in-app purchase. But probably my favorite feature about this app is that it actually does support video, which is really interesting. So if I just add another page here, I can tap into that preview. And once it pulls up my camera roll, I'm just gonna grab a random clip of me talking. And then I can add my text or anything I want beneath it, but I can also keep that video in its original aspect ratio. I'm not having to zoom in and lose any quality or any part of the frame, which is really cool to have. Now I found this really useful specifically for my vlog channel because whenever I upload a new video, I wanna post it to my story. The problem with that is that I'm of course shooting 16 by nine and Instagram stories are vertical. So I'm gonna lose a lot of what's happening in the scene and it probably won't look as neat. So what I can do is export the final video, pull it into here, keep all the same quality and aspect ratio and everything and just add whatever I text that I want. And right now this is cropping the footage a little bit, but again, I can just double tap into that and zoom out and then I get the full width of the clip there. And then once you're done, you can just tap that save icon at the top right, and you can either save the specific page that you're on or the entire story. 
Now, the only downside about this is that if you're using video in a particular page, then it won't actually save the entire story. It'll just save the page with the video and it'll just keep it for the entire length of that clip. So even if I were to save the entire story, it'll only give me a clip of that specific page with that clip that I imported. Now you can also preview what your story is going to look like inside of the app so you can even swipe between pages just like you would inside of Instagram or whatever app you're using, which is really cool to see how it's going to come across. But that's pretty much it for this app. I think it's a really useful tool because you can brand your stories, especially if you have videos. Like I said, you're not going to be losing quality. You can keep it the same aspect ratio and you're not having to go into Premiere or After Effects and export an entirely separate sequence that is made specifically for stories or anything like that. Plus this app is free apart from the in-app purchase, which you don't even have to have. So it's really worth playing around if you're someone who uses stories a lot. But anyway guys, that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. If so, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more content just like this. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.